There's Dan Ashworth. There's definitely Harvey Barnes this time. We got on the other side of that Range Rover. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Magpie Channel TV and welcome to Newcastle United's training ground. In the background is Harvey Barnes. There's a silver pickup truck there waiting for him to swoop him back out of the training ground. He has been in there the last couple of hours doing his medical. He's still inside. The issue is he's going to get shipped straight into the silver van and off and away he'll go. It's surprising he's very quiet here at the training ground today. I thought a couple of other people might have been lingering about with the news that he was here. I've seen one or two and then they've just gave up. I think a lot of them have been here a while. I've been here half an hour or so now as well. Um, I'm doing some other work here as well, doing a bit of TV work and stuff. So keeping things busy but hopefully we'll manage to get a little shot of Harvey Bonds coming out of the training ground. Now the heavens have opened it started absolutely lashing it down so I've seeked refuge in the whip um, <laughs> and there's the British summertime coming in nicely started absolutely lashing it down there well that's changing by the second and uh, but what isn't changing is Harvey Bonds he's still in the training ground getting the medical done getting everything else done and uh, I've just been told that he is in fact in Dan Ashworth's office inside the Benton training ground base. So he's still getting things wrapped up there inside Newcastle State's training centre. Then where will he go from there? Will he stay the night? Obviously they want to get him over to America. There's lots to, to work out and lots for lots of travelling to be done for Harvey Barnes once the official uh, unveilment happens. And you know, he's, he's in there at the minute still wrapping things up with Dan Ashworth and the issue is at the minute is that everybody is in America you know pretty much the entire of Newcastle United's employment staff are over there in terms of even this obviously the social media people the marketing people um, everyone you know the photographers the cameramen all the uh, head of media stuff all them are in the states as well so it's very much a skeleton crew yeah for Newcastle United at the training ground pretty much Dan Ashworth and his uh, cup of coffee I think with Harvey Barnes so they're in there, they're getting things done. Let's see if we can get a piece of them coming out. But the weather is looking bleak. Bleak times here. But uh, we'll wait and see. Well, we're braving the weather again for you. Hit a like, subscribe on this one if <laughs> you haven't already. We're braving the weather for you. It's probably going to start lashing it down again any minute now. But uh, it's been there ages now, Harvey Bond. Surely he's going to be on his way out soon. Hopefully, funny enough, I've just been actually been talking to a couple of the Newcastle United women players. They've been training there at the training ground today, so good to see them involved. Good to see Becky and the girls uh, getting ready for their big promotion season push yet again. So, yeah, they've been here at the training ground today. Obviously, the men's team are out there in America. Let's see if Harvey Bonds will be leaving here anytime soon so he can get on a plane and join them in America. This is Harvey Barnes leaving Newcastle United's training ground now. He's been here for about three hours. Medical done. And he's away. There he goes. The 38 million pound man. There's Dan Ashworth. Dan Ashworth now would say the training ground told us before. Harvey Barnes was in his office. So are we now finally going to see Harvey Barnes come out. That was a false alarm before with the silver van that went past. False alarm. Decoy that was. Didn't look like he was in there on the video. And uh, actually, let's just look back there. I was the only video and just thought they fucking zoomed right in. But, uh, yeah, so Barnes was not in that silver van. Ashworth's going back in. Doesn't like the rain. Harvey Barnes still waiting for him to come out. Oh, is that security guard there picked up a nice little Louis Vuitton backpack? Does that belong to Harvey Barnes? I don't think it belongs to him. I don't think that 10 grand backpack belongs to, belongs to the security guard. <laughs> as sound as he is. I think he's bringing that back for Harvey Barnes or Harvey Barnes' missus or something. Is this Harvey Barnes leaving this time? Has he been shuffled in through the side door? No, it's a dog in the back seat. <laughs> no, false alarm. Oh, 
the Harvey Barnes there, just got it on the other side. There's Harvey Barnes there. That was him there, getting on the other side, Harvey Barnes. There he comes and he got on the other side. There's definitely Harvey Barnes this time, he got on the other side of that Range Rover. There he is with his missus, Harvey Barnes in the car, and he's off. There we go. There we have it then people, Newcastle Knight's training ground in the background there. Harvey Barnes has went up that road and away. Will he be going to the Hilton tonight like the rest of the normally stay there for a while? Not sure on that one, I haven't heard anything on that, but he got into that Range Rover with his family, like his dad was driving it. Him and his missus were in the back of the Range Rover and they are now off for Binia for a couple hours. So please drop a subscribe and like this video if you haven't already. Just a nice little appreciation for me standing in the rain for the last couple hours. We've been in the stadium today, we've been in the training ground, and we did get the footage of Harvey Barnes leaving the track. They usher him a bit, obviously he was facing sideways and they, they got him out there without any um, you know real shot, but at least we're, we've seen him leave, we've seen him there. And there he is, he is off Newcastle's 38 million pound man has done his medical, completed that today at the training ground and um, you never know, the club might release some images and officially announce him tonight or probably tomorrow now. What is it now, nearly five o'clock on this Thursday afternoon? Will they let me know? Will they wait? I mean, the thing is, that's difficult. You've seen Dan Ashrath in the video as well. But there's hardly any staff here at the training ground. The majority of them are in the United States. So the people that would normally be doing stuff aren't here at the minute, you know, so you think they might have left one or two more behind. Obviously, there is some people, but in terms of getting things out, you may have to wait for that one for this afternoon. But you've seen it there. Harvey Barnes leaving Newcastle United's training ground after completing his medical. And um, he is set to sign for Newcastle United. He's set to be unveiled there. Probably tomorrow now, I would guess. Maybe tomorrow for the for the official announcement and stuff like that. And obviously, he's been at St. James Paul today getting footage um, in the ground, no doubt, with his Newcastle United shirt and an interview with the club. If there's anyone there to interview him, I mean, I would have done it. You know what I mean? should have got me doing it. So, <laughs> we'll wait and see. But there, you've seen it for yourselves first hand. Harvey Barnes leaving Newcastle United's training ground. Thanks for watching, everyone. Make sure you drop a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And enjoy yourself.